Today we're looking at a great all-purpose spinning reel that's not going to break the bank but also has the quality components and construction that you're looking for in a spinning reel. Today we're going to break down the Pen Battle 3. These come in 1,000 all the way up to 10,000. We think they're a great bang for your buck. Let's go ahead and break it down. What's up everybody? My name is Captain Mike and welcome to Reel Reports. Today we're doing a tackle segment to bring you a great reel in that $100 range. Previous video, we tried to find you a reel for under $100 and we settled on the Daiwa BG series. Well, with inflation, everything has gone up and it was really hard to find you guys a reel under $100, but we found the Pen Battle 3, priced between about 120 and 140 retail, depending on where you go, what tackle shop you go into, you might be able to find a deal on this one. But we really like this reel because it features the quality construction, the durability, that you look for in a spinning reel, especially something that you want to use as a multi-purpose. I was first introduced to the pen battles through Captain Tim here with Royal Ports. He uses these on the beach for big snook and just the smoothness of that HT100 drag really caught my eye and I knew that I had to have it. So I started out small. Here I got this 3000 here. I've been using this for snook off the beach. We've been using it to catch bait. A lot of little small things. We got eight pound test on here. We were able to get about 200 yards on here. And it's just a great multi-purpose reel that I'm gonna be using to catch bait here in the spring. We're gonna switch it up to catching mahi little schoolies in the summer. And it's just something that I can use interchangeably to change out the rigs, change out the size leader I'm using, the hook, everything to match the hatch. So today we're gonna be talking about the specs on this reel and why I think it's a good upgrade for you. First of all, there's a lot of upgrades in this from the previous battle. It's almost not even comparable. The first major upgrade is this complete metal body that you usually can't find in a reel under $100. This thing's now fully metal. It's something you'd see in a much more expensive reel. And here at this price point, we absolutely love it for this particular reel. The second major upgrade is gonna be the CNC machine cut gear. Again, out of a reel that's in this price point, you really don't see that. And Penn, I think, really hit it out of the park with this one. And just the durability, the strong feel to this reel, it does not feel cheap at all, especially in this little 3000. It's absolutely incredible. And uh, we're proud to bring it to you. The third element is gonna be the drag system, the HT100 that's famous by Penn. I've been rocking them in my spin fishers for a while now, very smooth. Just a, a really nice drag system, especially when you're on big fish and you're tightened down. This particular reel, even though small, don't let it fool you. You can put some braid on here and really crank it down, get deep on that. And I like the way this, this uh, drag wheel feels. I mean, it feels really nice. It gets nice and tight there. This particular reel can do 15 pounds of drag. And when we're on a tight on a big fish, such as maybe like a 30 pound tarpon, and we're really cranking down on them, trying to get that quick release, that nice healthy release on the fish, that comes in handy. And out of a reel for this price point, having that style of drag system is just a real huge benefit. Um, this is something that if I did hook into, let's just say a 30 pound mahi or something, I had the time, let's just do it, let's fight that fish. And we know that this drag is gonna hold up, very durable, very smooth. And I like the way it sounds here, just got that, that typical pen sound to it. And when this drag is screaming, your adrenaline is gonna be rushing. And you can see there just how smooth this reel is. The 3000 model of the Pen Battle 3 weighs in at 11.6 ounces. The reels come in 1000 to 10,000 sizes. The max drag on this one is 15 pounds. And you can put about 200 yards of eight pound monofilament on here. So this reel here at this price point, as I'm doing this, the average price on this is about $130, $140. You might be able to find it even cheaper if you shop around. We're in the spring pattern. This is gonna be my bait setup. When we're out there sabiki and pilchards or threads, this is what I wanted. I did not want something that I was gonna spend several hundred dollars on, just does not make sense when you can have a reel of this quality for 120, 130, 140 bucks. It just does not make sense. So I actually picked up two of them so these are two on matching Biscayne eight pound rod. These are gonna be great for when I'm catching threads, when I'm catching pilchards, when I'm catching sardines. I also have bigger versions of this for when the baits are even bigger than that. So for right now, these are gonna act as my bait rods, but this is a multi-purpose reel. 
Come summertime, when we're throwing the cast net, when we're not on the sabikis, this reel is gonna get about a, let's just say a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. It's gonna get a little one out, two out circle hook. I'm gonna be fishing those from the beach. I'm gonna be catching schoolie dolphin with them. Pretty much whatever I want. This thing is just fantastic. Feels very comfortable, very balanced reel on this eight pound Biscayne rod. Something that I um, recommend all the time to people that are looking to get into fishing, whether they're just trying to catch bait, if you're doing snook fishing off the beach, if you're um, you know, catching jacks, little tarpon, just a great reel to add some sport to what you're doing. That way you're not kind of manhandling all your fish that you're catching. So this is the Penn Battle 3 3000. Let me know below in the comments, have you tried this? It's been around a little bit now, and I know a lot of you guys have had this. Um, I'm excited to give it a good run this summer. We're gonna run it hard and see if it can withstand the conditions that we normally put on our gear. So let me hear below, I wanna hear, and of course, as always, when I do a tackle segment, I gotta give something away. So when you comment below, I'm gonna pick a winner at random. You're gonna get something cool from livebait.com. I can't wait to read the comments. Oh, <laughs>